Today, we're making cod and black bean garlic sauce. So if you like deep fried fish and you love Chinese food, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got a nice cod filet, probably weighs a little bit under a pound. And the first thing we want to do is slice this by directing our knife at a 45 degree angle. Cut nice bite sized pieces. Something like this is perfect. And as I continue on down from the smaller tail portion of the filet to the thicker portion of the meat, my blade will start to change direction and straighten up just a little bit as I cut. This will keep all the portions pretty much the same size. And once you get all these portions cut, it should look something like this. Now in my last video recipe, I showed you how to make a marinade for the salt and pepper shrimp. We're going to make the same marinade again today, starting with one egg, some oil, some soy sauce, powdered ginger, garlic powder, and white pepper. After you give this a quick whisk, I'm going to add some cornstarch to thicken this up a bit. As soon as this gets nice and smooth, we're going to just drizzle this right over the top of that cod. And you'll probably only use about half that mix on one fillet. Then just stir it in real good, make sure every piece is covered, and you want to marinate for at least 30 minutes. In the meantime, we need to cut some veggies. Starting with this onion here, I'm going to slice three quarter to one inch pieces here. We're probably only going to need about a quarter of it. Something like the size of these pieces here is perfect. I've also got several different colors of sweet peppers and one jalapeno. I'm just going to chop the ends off of all these, cut them each in half, get them de-seeded, and once that's done, you just want to cut each one of these about the same size as those onion pieces. Something like this will be fine. We also need some green onion, about an inch to two inch slices. Now here I've got a thin layer of potato starch. I'm going to drop each one of those fillet portions into it. Try to keep them separated as much as possible. Then once I've got them all in there, I'll sprinkle another thin layer of that potato starch over the top, give it a good shake, a good toss, make sure every one of those pieces is coated with a nice thin layer of potato starch. This will give it a nice texture when it's fried. Now my wok's already preheated with canola oil. I'm going to test it here. Looks good, so we're going to put all the fish in there. I've heated it to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit and that'll be a perfect temperature to get a nice crisp on the outside and still keep a nice tender filet on the inside. It only takes a couple minutes before they turn golden yellow and then you can spider them out onto some paper towels. They should look something like this. This is a good time to remove the fry oil from the wok, add some fresh canola back, and then add the fresh veggies to the wok. Using high heat will flash cook, crisp up the outside without destroying the nutrients on the inside. And you don't even want to spend a full minute cooking it like this either. Just enough to get a sear on the outside of that skin. Now it's time to add my secret ingredients, starting with the black bean garlic sauce. Now a small squeeze of hoisin sauce and some sweet chili sauce and luckily we don't have to make each one of these ingredients anymore they can each be purchased in individual bottles and the combination of these three ingredients here make the best sauce the only problem is it's a little bit thick so we're going to go ahead and thin this out here with a little bit of beef broth and then you just got to stir that in Smooth it out. Now we're ready for our cod. We go ahead and pour that whole plate right over the top. 
stir it and mix it up a bit. And if you'll notice, I'm still running over high heat. This helps the reduction of that sauce as it caramelizes to the outside of that fish. Which is exactly what we want. And as you can see, I kept the editing down to a minimum so you could see this in real time. This happens so fast. If we get in close, you can see how beautiful it is. The only thing left to do is add some green onion. And as soon as you give that a few tosses, you're ready to plate. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And there you have it. Fried cod and black bean garlic sauce right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.